Hi there, it's Justin here from sharepickers.com and I'm just going to run through uh, how to use the screener to find best in class. Essentially, doing a sector comparison because it's always handy. When you look at stocks and shares, right? I mean, you can look at a P level or whatever, but it's, it's, it's useless unless you can compare it to other you know, companies in the same sector because different sectors have different levels of PE and it's always good compared to you know, the next in class, basically. So here we are on the ADVFN website and how to find it is here. Click on site map. Okay, this is where the screener is. Scroll down to UK Screener Filter X. Okay, and up, up it loads here. This is the home page of the screeners. Now, there are some, like, uh, obviously, preset filters here. And these are growth screens, and these are value screens. Uh, cash cows, uh, large cap, dogs of the FTSE, asset strip takeover candidates. So it's quite a few handy ones here already. But I want to start my own, so I'll click Start Filter X. And uh, screeners are a way of filtering out any company that doesn't really fit your criteria. And there's so many different financial ratios you can select. So here we go, we've got 26 pages here uh, of companies, uh, 100 companies on a page, so that's a lot. M maximum, 2,600 stocks. Okay, so let's start off adding some key figures. I wanna know market cap, yes. I want that, so that'll add that column there, like I said there. Uh, let's add another column, let's go down. Uh, PE ratio, yes, handy to know if I'm comparing sectors, companies within one sector. Uh, dividend yield, yes, I want to know that too. Uh, so I'll add that. What else do we need to know? Uh, scroll down, operating margin, yes, I like that. I want to know that as well. Um, I also want to know uh, earnings per share. Uh, what is it, basic, yep. Uh, what else would I add? Uh, add some other things. Uh, dividend. So you can see there's loads here, loads of stuff you can cash per share. You know, there's loads of columns you can add there. I mean, if you look at this, there's millions of options on this, and then some deeper, deeper analysis here, more there. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to put in uh, debt ratio because that's always quite handy. I'm also going to put in. Um, uh, let's look. There's a dividend ratio there, payout ratio, because that's how much a company is paying out. I also want to see dividend cover, because if a company is paying a dividend, you want to know if it can cover that out of current earnings, and that's what that means, rather than having to loan. So if you've got a company, I always say, if a company's uh, you know dividend yield is more than 6%, it's a bit of a red flag, because you, you have to question whether they can afford to cover that from current earnings, or they have to borrow. If they have to borrow, it's unsustainable. And so the last thing I want to put in here there is the industry name. So scroll down here, industry name, and today I'm going to p compare uh, utilities companies. So what, yeah, if you click on the top of a column here, it'll order that column into highest or lowest or lowest or highest. If you actually click within a column, like this, it'll take you to the filter process. All right, so I'm going to highlight all these, all these companies, all the sectors, and then I'm going to scroll up and look for, uh, let's have a look, um, gas and water utilities. So I highlight that, and then electricity. All right, then remove constraints for this variable. So everything is removed. No, in fact, sorry, let me do it again. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it again, sorry. Select all, then highlight uh, gas and water utilities. So control uh, and click on that, control click on that, and then submit. All right, that's what I need. So here we go. All I've got now is gas and utilities. All right, so there we are. I did that mistake on purpose to show you how to do it incorrectly. <laughs> So we've got all the, uh, the the utility companies there. So I'm looking for, because utility companies are known for income. You know, a lot of people invest in them to get a good dividend yield off them. So I'm going to select dividend yield, and I want nothing less than, say, 3%. All right? So submit that. And you can see, we've gone from, you know, a possible 2,600 companies down to nine. All right? Dividend yield all above 3%. Now, I want an efficient company with a strong margin. So I'm going to go click on that, uh, high to low. And I don't want anything less than a 10% operating margin, uh, profit margin there. So exclude anything less than 10%. All right, submit. And you can do this with any industry, obviously, sector. You can do the banks, uh, 
and anyway, t- travel, anything at all, media, whatever sector you want to compare, you can. And this is a good way to find best in class. So what I've got so far is, um, I haven't done PE actually. Uh, in fact, you know, let's just do PE as well. I don't want to go anything above 20. So exclude anything above 20. Submit that. Submit. All right, so there we got down to five companies. Um, do I want to go small cap? Yeah. No, I want to stick with big cap. I want co- In fact, let's go with dividend cover first. I want to make sure they can cover the dividend. Oh, you can see there already. They've all above one, which is a good coverage of dividend. Uh, let's go to efficiency then. Earnings per share or earnings uh, power. Let's, let's order that high to low. And renewable energy, quite low there, aren't they? Earnings per share. So I'm going to go... Anything below 50, I'll take out. And you can see already that basically by doing this, what we've got is it's left with the big caps pretty much. Uh, or oh, D-Valley is still there. So that's good. So with 7 trend, United Utilities, National Grid, all pay above 3% dividend, all above 10% margin, uh, earnings per share above 50 pence, uh, cash per share. This is quite a handy metric, isn't it? So let's go above 10% there. Cash per share, so exclude anything less than ten. And now we're down to three. And look at that D Valley, seven trend United Utilities, and those two are actually on my watch list. And D Valley is a small cap there, but it pays a good dividend, good operating margin. So you know that's brought up a bit of surprise there. Dividend payout ratio, they're all so far. I mean, you know, you should. I think anything above seventy five percent is a bit high, really. So there you go. That's a nice way of comparing the sector. So essentially, they are the best in sector for the criteria I selected. You know, high margin, high dividend, good dividend cover, uh, PE quite cheap there, as you can see, and cash per share quite high. Debt. Uh, oh, that's interesting. So if you go debt ratio. And I don't want anything above 75%. Include, des- uh, so put 75 in there. Submit. Down to one company. Anything above, so D Valley, you know, a small cap utility name is the best in class, essentially. And second to that was, and if you want to go back in and alter these, you can. So you can go, uh, let's, have a look, let's say, let's remove this constraint there and say above. 80, if you think that's too high. If you've cut out too many. So say you want a big cap, small cap um, comparison there. So you've got United Utilities and d Valley. And if you click on those, it'll take you to their financials. So, for example, d Valley it goes straight to their financials page. And you can see every financial metric you'd ever want to see right there, further down as well. More and more, PQ ratio, PE ratios, all this. Too many to name. But that's essentially a way of finding best in sector. Uh, using a screener. Hope that helps. If you'd like me to suggest anything else, uh, please, by all means, uh, you know, just just sign up to the emails there at sharepickers.com. And of course, uh, you, this is you know, it's free to set up a, a, an account on ADVFN, and you can click the link below, and that will take you to that. And uh, you can pay, and the more you pay for ADVFN, of course, there's more functionality. But you know, you'd be silly not to set up a free account. Uh, hope that helped. Let me know, by all means, if you'd like me to do anything else as far as screeners or anything on the ADVFN website is concerned. I'm here to help.